Hi there. What I've got here is a glass build plate. Um, this one I've just got a silicon pad underneath it to protect the top of it. Uh, what I'm going to be showing is how to stick a silicon heating pad to a glass plate. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is that this is quite a bit smaller than the, the, the glass. That's because this is a big glass plate and getting these things much bigger can be a little tricky. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, the same thing applies to bigger ones as well. Uh, what you'll see here, and I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera is, but there's an outline of one of the larger prints that I've done. So I'm going to use that as an indicator as to where I want to stick this pad to get it sort of central. Uh, this printer prints mainly PLA so a heated pad is not really needed <coughs> but it does help to stick it, uh, stick the build to the plate and get it to adhere better. I generally only heat it up to about 45 degrees Celsius and that is enough to just you know make it not a cold build surface so essentially it's just you know above room temperature you know 45 degrees is quite a bit above room temperature but it's warm enough for the bolt to stick nicely to it and to keep it there and um, that's why I'm not particularly fussed about having a smaller build plate or smaller heater than the glass now what you're going to need to to do this is obviously your surfaces some double sided tape this is let me find a surface nothing special just your average sort of thin tape that's double sided and will stick nicely to, to adhere to it now for this to adhere nicely it needs to be a clean surface and for that you're going to need uh, something to clean it with I use rubbing alcohol um, to just uh, clean the surface before I do that. Take a cloth, put some on, and essentially you're just going to want to wipe. surface of this thing all nice and clean and you'll feel that it's actually quite tacky afterwards anyway so that's a good surface for it to stick to and the same thing on the glass I'm just going to want to make sure there's no dust or dirt or anything on there because essentially what you want this stuff to do is stick and not come off until you're ready to take it off. Okay. Now there are a few different ways you can stick this thing to to a pad. You probably don't need to apply this stuff all over, but I generally find that uh, yeah, maybe I'm just a little bit pedantic but I like sticking the whole thing down all over uh, the other thing you're going to need is a sharp knife like a box cutter You don't need to rush it. Let's take your time. Make sure it's on there nice and straight. Uh, 
I agree like uh, the stuff on this tape works is it sticks almost immediately but it does essentially stick over time so while you're busy doing it you can pull it off and re-stick it but uh, after a day or so it's going to be stuck and what you're seeing is I'm essentially just going all over the whole thing one layer at a time I just make sure that I've got the whole surface uh, the reason I do the whole thing and not just the edges or bits and pieces of it is that uh, and then you can see there now it's, it's a bit low I'll show you what I'm going to do there in a minute but I'm going to actually just move that to the bottom edge here so I get that and I'll show you what I'll do with that gap in a minute Okay, that's on, and like I said, at this point in time you can still pull, pull it off, but in a day or so this stuff is going to be set, and it's going to be stuck solid. Now, for that gap, If it's a bigger gap than this, um, there you can see what I've done for a previous one. I think you just let it run over, cut the edge off and, and put it on there. And that's actually not bad. But I've got a thinner roll to just cover that edge. So what I'm going to do see if I can peel one uh, the reason being Okay, that way I make sure the whole thing is stuck. And, uh, I'm peel that one and just to preserve my sanity. Put that on there just to allow me to move around. Right. So that's clean. There may have been dirt on the back, so I'm just going to wipe this down again. And the pad's going to go pretty much in the middle of that. So I'm going to align it. See why I do that in a minute.
Okay, so the reason for that is that I want to be able to move it around and position it and then get it to tack as soon as I've got it where I want it to be. And then pull that off and that won't move anymore. Now the others have been pulled so I can actually get to them. Just that one bottom one. Push that down and work it in. And that should stay on there until you want it to come off. Other side, and just make sure if you can see any gaps and stuff, just go over that area until it's all nice and smooth, and that's pretty much it. Job done. Thanks for watching.